Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and reserve our next match. Um, we'll go ahead and reserve the, reserve the next match. Uh, can we skip that? Next opponent will be ranked 18th in the Glyph Pit, the, eight, the KP Koopas. Now listen, son, this battle wants you to avoid using any of them special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice, long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstand. And our next match happens to be against Coop, uh, King uh, King K. Hey dog, looks like you, your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. Um, then right here, now that we have access to the bed, I can kind of show you what I do. I usually use this time to rest. Uh, because it does take a while for the guards to get here. I think it might, it might take them a little longer. Uh, a little, it might take you a little longer to... Uh, Sleep, but usually by the time you get here, they're already in here and they're ready. Um, but usually by the time you wake up, they're in, they're in turn and you're ready. Uh, so yeah, to me, it's, to me, it's a more efficient way, I guess. Um, also, none of these guys, none of these enemies are called uh, Joe Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish of the KP Koopas. None of these Koopas are called King K, which actually kind of disappointed me. Uh, I, I was I was really saddened by it, by that fact. So ready to battle. <laughs> Don't use any special moves, okay? <coughs> um, special moves are this. So we, you're allowed to use your spin jumps, your stuff like this. Um, I'm gonna try the multi bounce. And we're gonna finish it up with a power shell. So yeah, we'll only be taking I feel on the deal. Hold up! I almost killed an enemy that doesn't <laughs> doesn't have stats. This is a KP paratrooper. This is a Koopa paratrooper of a different color. Uh, so yeah, this is... Wow, it still registers as a Koopa trooper. Or as a paratrooper. The attack is the same as your average garden variety Koopa, Koopa paratrooper. So just do the same thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much they're the same thing. Uh, but only found in Blitzville. Uh, head bomb is pretty effective too, so yeah. Ah, miss... Mistimed it. Um... There we go. I'm trying to find the jump there, and I couldn't find it for a second. Okay, so I should have skinned the Koopa, the KP Koopas. But their stats are the same as, as a regular Koopa, so yeah, it's just, like, it's just a different color. Um, what did you expect, huh? We ran! And actually, I should probably be playing with all the characters because they all say something different at the end of each match. <laughs> it, just, it just occurred to me. Mars ranking goes to 18. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. <laughs> yeah, we kind of beat. Wait! <laughs> hey, wait to hand, hand a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Good swing the other way next time, though, you know? You know what I'm saying? Let's go into our next match. Um, next opponent will be 17th to Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Oh, for the love of... Ugh. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you why this is a bad thing for this case. The Pokey Triplets are Pokies. Pokies are those yellow cactus guys from Mario World. They hurt when you jump on them. Yeah. Not even much, so I don't want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat up the hell with. Um, so yeah, th th that can get rather annoying to have to deal with that. Uh, considering that the only character that we have right now that can not get damaged by them is Koops. Um. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and switch to Koops now anyway. <coughs> but 
but seriously, uh, there the effect, the different conditions, the battle conditions that you have to meet are random each time, but the enemies you fight are set. So the fact that I got a ham, I got unlucky to get a hammer, a uh, hammer penalty. Uh, problem is I'm gonna have to use a uh, a uh, touch us. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> yeah. I hate, yeah, full. Hate you guys. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have to use my special, which is fine, which is fine for this match, because it doesn't apply, but the hammer thing just really ticked me off, because I try not to use my hammer so much. And actually, uh, I should have stuck with Goombella, because I'm gonna need to scan all these guys. Um,. This is a pokey. It's a cactus school that's got nasty spine all over his body. Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Look at those spines. Those will to totally hurt you if you stomp on it. You don't get it. Don't attack by allowing parts of the body and by charging at you. They can even call friends in for help, so be quick about taking them out. Um. Yay, he countered that one. But it's funny, you can actually counter that attack. You can actually counter that attack without taking damage. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that we got those guys scanning out of the way, let's go ahead and use our Tremor. Yay! Um, Pokemon can attack, can keep sending body parts out until they have only one uh, body part left. I do not think they can spawn new, in, new uh, Pokies if they attack with, the range, with their range attack. Uh, cause I think they need a full body in order to attack as a, in order to, re in order to, uh, call in new guys. Which they basically do by slamming in the ground like they do with the regular attack, and I think they slam to the ground, slam back up, and another one just pops up behind them. So, yeah. By the way, we got to see some out of experience for that. Um, see, no biggie. These are fright money, Mr. Gonzalez. Yay, we got four coins. Um, so yeah, next match. <laughs> <coughs> hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Huh? You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Man, yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. I'm trying to, I have to tell you, that room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that, too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitch pit. Understood? Well, apparently, it looks like uh, Miss Jolene has a bit of a stalker. Again, dude, man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring King Queen Nag in here. Ah, oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that to toot and shove it up her nose. Oh, a like, as an attitude. Okay, that makes sense. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, if you folks will find me, I must be off. Off to Stalker again. Um, one one other thing real quick before we go is that you can't actually open these lockers um, and then lock yourself in. Uh, then just to get out, you just jump. Uh, no, you just, no, you just push in the direction of the door and it opens up automatically. Okay, that's when you had to jump. Um, yeah, uh, I think. Um, there you go. Uh, okay, so I don't think there's anything in, I think there's some later on, uh, that we have to go into, some lockers later on that we have to go into, and they have an item or something. Maybe the Major League, I'm trying to remember. Um, 
Next upon will be ranked 16th in the list pit, the Dead Bones. Now listen, son, this battle wants you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring the puppy quick home. <coughs> okay, so, we're going to go ahead and do our annual wrestling before a match. And it goes this. That gives some time to move, so, uh. Might actually be better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if your speedrunning is it better to sleep in the. Sleep in the bed after the ring match or before? Which would. Uh, I would imagine it would be after. I mean. Again, it takes them about as long to get there. The next battle, we got the Merciless Execution of the Great Gonzalez. And. The Bone Banging Brockers! Yes, a fight to the finish of the Dead Bones! Dead Bones, Dead Bones, them. Dead Bones. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with. They're gonna take your, your skin off your bones! That's a little creepy. It's a little morbid for a Nintendo game when you start thinking about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, here we have Dry Bones. Uh, 1 HP each, so probably the best thing to do is. We don't have anything to damn. Uh, crap. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Um, Coops's power shell. Yep. <coughs> what? <laughs> um. Yeah, since we already had them scanned, we don't need to worry about... Yeah, not all, not every enemy is in here is unique to the list bit, so... Just only, just only the ones we haven't seen before. Um, we did it, Maya! Wow! <laughs> You're fine, money, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> oh, by the way, is that fast enough for you, Mr. Grubba? <laughs> My rank to us to 16. So, excuse me, I must be going. That's gonna become a theme, isn't it? Just hearing that. Um, man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bizow! <laughs> I hurts! Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, you're, oh, you're just fine. Shut up. I have a blood pressure right there! Ouch! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! Out of the way up there! Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just turned himself a trip to the hospital. <laughs> who, knew, who knew that professional wrestling was such a deadly sport? <laughs> I mean, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This, this stuff happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and resolve our next match. Uh, the next opponent will be Spike Storm. Trying to resist the one. Listen, son, this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them flower points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see how you do without none of them fancy point moves. Now get in there and show me something, son. Um, I may end up having to. I want to scan. Because I don't. I think these are. Well, they might be spiked clefts. In that case, that'd, that'd be okay. Um, let me go ahead and switch. Oh, there's zero FP, so does it count? Because so it's not using any of my flower points. Oh, yeah, these... Okay, this is like a two stuff. Okay, so yeah, these, these are new enemies. Um... I don't think they explained this, but in case they didn't, when you don't follow Grubba's orders, um, you, just, you don't go up rank. You have to refight them again. Um, you don't go down, you don't go up. So, yeah. We're gonna spike by means of submission, punk. The battle! Yeah, on the off chance it doesn't work, I may end up having to fight this battle again. 
Uh, don't use your FP. So, it says don't use your FP, so I'm going to assume... Uh, we're going to do like a 2 4 since he's the only one we can actually... Oh no, we can hit the others, too. Uh, the Lucky Two is the one you want to get rid of. It's a member of the Koopa Clan that rides on the clouds. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It's attacked by throwing spiny eggs. He's the one when it's holding a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spiny, so be like you before fighting spiny. What doesn't answer my real question? Where does he keep all those spiny eggs? Now, they don't explain that Lucky Two's have two attacks. Two types of attacks. They toss a spiny egg, or they generate a new spiny. Um. Wow, I just totally screwed up there. Uh. I so did not mean to use, uh. And he generates spikes. Okay, so yeah, we've already we've already failed this, so let's go ahead and quake. Ah, uh, we've already failed, we've already messed up this mission, so mission this match. <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna have to be doing this one again. That's funny. Basically, it's fight over Koopa. Ugh, it looks painful. Max HP is three. Attack is three. Defense is three. These things have such a high de defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, all you do all the damage you can quickly. You flip them over, the defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is a pain. It's just plain stupid. Just try to power block or some other item. <laughs> I'm trying to do defensive moves here. Uh, the counter moves. I might want to switch to flurry. Try. Uh, that might work. I'll try Gale Force. I just got rid of two of them. And I'm keep trying to def do the defensive move there to kill it, but uh. It's not gonna work out very well, is it? I didn't think so. Should have done power smack. Uh, actually, you know what? Little peel. In the next round, I won't be making the same mistake. Yes! <laughs> it feels so stupid that I just used, I just used FP when I wasn't supposed to. But unfortunately, I don't think this affects our rank, and I so didn't look at what Flurry said. Damn. Oh well. Uh, we still get the same amount of money as we would normally at this rank, so... Rose to 15. Huh? Just that it's dated the same. That's weird. Oh man, hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside getting a new menu item. Yeah, it sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying that the hot dog would help you win fights. Yeah, snack out. Snack out on one. You know what? We have some time before our next match. Let's go ahead and do that. Um. I'm gonna switch to Coops. I don't know, this seems like Coops would be, would be more suited for the ring. Because, again, the outfit... The... And all the invisible fangirls. Uh, you're supposed to see a bunch of, like, girl toes around here. Around Rockhawk. Uh, again, emulator issues. The emulators suck, so... The only, reason I, the only reason I'm using this emulator is because I don't have a capture card. Not bad, so very bad! Behave yourself, egg! Huh? Those spots. That general shape. That it could, no, no, it couldn't be. No, Fat, come back. Help my important, my important egg escape. Somebody can catch it. Okay, so let's get to, to 
be a bit of a pain, but you have to hit it with your hammer, and there's, uh, I gotta get, like, right down here, um, it might be up here. Try and get it. I'm gonna try it over here. Huh. Most awfully bad. Come down from there. Bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there. What? You don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. Huh. Bouncy egg. Goes to an island. Has those familiar spots. And, and I lost it. Ah. And I lost my train of thoughts. I should have timed that better. <laughs> I should have put I should have planned that out. I knew, I knew this part was coming. <laughs> um yeah, just to let you know, this is a required part of the game, so, yeah. But, it's a good part of the game. It's going to get probably one of my favorite allies. Whew, I thought I almost fell down there. Let's talk to the egg. Hmm? Is it just me, or do you think that egg... What? What? You want, you want our help, egg? Um, you call Mario. What do you want to do with it? Let there be hot dogs. Nah, we're we'll up the little guy. <laughs> yeah, I can't ignore it. Good call, Mario. Let's uh, let's set this little guy free. Um, why well, that's okay with you too, sir. Ah, oh, fine. Most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, cool. Let's take you and your. Let's take you free and clear, little guy. Bye. Huh? What does he know? You want to follow us or something? Um, I think he definitely wants to stick with us. What should we do? Okay, he can follow us. That's great, Mario. You're in with us, little buddy. Stay out of the way, okay? So, wait. The little egg, following Mario around, with his familiar spots, from a southern island. I've, I've lost my train of thought again. I really, I really need something to come in and interrupt for that joke to work, don't I? Um, but yeah, we got a message. Let's just check it out real quick. RDM issue. Okay, yeah. <coughs> uh, we don't need to worry about that then. <laughs> I, think I keep getting mail on my phone, and, on my phone, and it's like, uh, I got like at least like five or six me messages from on my phone like a day. Uh, all of it, most of it's spam or from some, or from, uh, sites like ThinkGeek or Blip TV or something like that. Like, like sites I go to regularly that I, I signed up for. Um, so it's like, I get, so, so normally when you get a message, you'd be like, oh, oh, that's, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just, essentially spam. No spam that you want, because you know we get good deals with ThinkGeek. Uh, rain 16th in the Glyph Pit, Spike Storm. No, it's the sun. This battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even the one, son. I want to see how you do when you do this with a battle with a fella. Da -da. We've already seen that. Okay, so, uh, as you can tell, we're fighting a rank lower than us. We're refighting Spike Storm to reclaim our rank again. Um, because, if you recall, that we used Matt, that we used FP when we weren't supposed to. The fact that we can't, uh, there we go. Uh, <coughs> yeah, our little egg buddy will kind of sit there. <laughs> the fact that we can't use our hammer kind of limits us a bit with this battle, but since we have at least two star points, we should be able to finish it off pretty quickly with our earthquake. Um, so yeah, we've already seen this before. The battle! Okay, so, here we are again with these guys, um, we can jump, 
But we can't use our hammer. So let's go ahead and use Earthquake, shall we? Um, as long as you do more than four damage, it should be good. Now, now I'm like focusing on this because I don't want to miss. Even though I, I don't think I miss very often with this, um, which is strange because I used to never be able to do this. Like that would usually be the part where it killed me. Like I don't know, I don't know. But it's not like uh, TVs have have like some sort of natural lag to them. Maybe that's the thing. It's like playing on a computer. It works because you don't have that lag between the uh, the console and your monitor or your, or your, or your screen. So maybe that's why I'm doing maybe that's why I'm doing that so well because like every time I push the button, it's instantaneous because the refresh rate of a, of a computer monitor is so much better than that of a of a TV. He's a fight, my name is Gonzalez. Like even you know, like even modern day LED TVs are like are still like that. I defeated our rank at fifteen, so yeah. Um, nothing's gonna happen this time because we defended our rank. Uh, we didn't progress any in the story, so let's go ahead and push ourselves up again, shall we? Um, next opponent ranks fourteenth in the list, but the hand it overs. Now listen, son, this battle wants you to avoid using your jump. No jump whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that dent flouncing around. You got me? Uh, get in there and get a hand or two. So yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. I like how the egg sleeps with, like, goes in with us. <laughs> I always like that because it pushes you back. So yeah, we got... See, this might actually be a really good uh, speedrunning tactic. That might actually, that actually think this is a good speedrunning tactic because it gives you enough time to get up there. The guys come in by that, by that point. Okay, so now we have the uh, bandits to deal with. For our next battle, we got our merciless execution of the Great Gonzalez and the Grim, the grim Death Burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the handed over. Huh? Death in a Nintendo game? Is that like sacrilege to even mention the word death in this in this game? Is this game over? Um, you can still try to battle. Okay, now these guys can be rather annoying enemies to fight. Um, I'm gonna switch swap partners to Gumbella. <coughs> Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Take totally weak. If you guard well, then when he charges at you, he'll blow up, he'll blow up without stealing any items. Blow away. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. Otherwise, he'll run. Supposed to be a little sound that plays whenever they fail. Like, wah, 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 wah. Didn't get anything. I think I just got lucky there. There we go. There we go, you heard I think you heard it. Um Let's go ahead and get regular band out of the way. Um Now Ben is probably one of my favorite enemies in in uh, Mario history. Uh primarily because these guys I don't know, I think they just look cool, and they're also in one of my favorite games, Yoshi's Island, so yeah. Oh, when you attack, you won't be able to steal anything if you block, uh, so yeah, it's pretty much the same as the boss band, except these guys only steal coins. Um, and yes, you want to kill him, if there's no jumping. Damn! Yeah, okay, I'm, no, I'm gonna lose a coin. <coughs> Big one. <laughs> you're in the way. Uh, you don't get experience 
when they run away, but that's fuck. Oh no, he's so fresh. Yeah. Like that. Um, I cannot. Let me go ahead and pull up partners. This way. Give me enough to kill him. And he still holds on to that. Damn. So we just bought our first juice. It's kind of sad, but you know, whatever. Um, no jumping. Uh, I gotta remember no jumping for this. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it this way. <coughs> kind of all over the place in this battle, aren't I? As much as I like the bandits in this game, in, uh, in Mario games, I really don't like them in this game simply because they steal your items and run away. They become a real pain to deal with. Damn! Uh, I keep messing up the timing. Okay, 
Next one will be the Mind Bogglers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jump whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power, blah, blah, blah. We've already heard that before. So, yeah, no jumping in this match. Running tactic. <laughs> it might be. So no using jump on these guys. Yeah, that won't be a problem with the prana plant sitting there. Um, but I think we've fought all these guys before. We're only gonna lose scrub like you. you. Better be instead mystified in the power. Get yourself ready to battle. Okay, so, okay, there we go, I was wondering what happened to that guy, oh, wait, that's going to be a real problem, isn't it, okay, okay, you know what, um, swap partner, actually, no, no, I'm just going to use Earth Primer, that'll, be, that'll, solve, that'll solve all our problems, <laughs> solve all our problems with the power of Earth Trimmers! Now, going back to what I was saying earlier, earlier about this, about, uh, the quick response time of a computer, or the quick refresh rate, or whatever it is, um, I, whoops, <laughs> that was my fault there, that should be enough skill, though, um, the quick, um, I was watching, uh, no, not watching, listening, I think, to the Blizzard Thumbs podcast, uh, which is on the website, blizzardthumbs.net. Um, it's a ga for those of you who don't know, it's a, game, it's a gaming site um, affiliated with Channel Awesome, which is stuff like that, guy with the glasses.com. <coughs> and the Blizzard Thumbs podcast, on there, one, of the one of the people on there is a PC gamer. Um, and he actually, I think that's where he mentioned it. Is that what, was that where I, meant, where I heard it from? Was the Hold You Up the Monitor? Or that... Did you know that or was Game Grumps? Um, which, is another, which is another Let's Play series that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't think they want. I don't think they want to be called. Le they, don't, they don't want to call themselves a Let's Play channel. Uh, though technically that's what they are anyway. That's still fun. Fun on the left. Listen, man, keep it under your hat. I think I'm about to retire soon. I stay any longer, well, my, my future might get shorter. Dig. At the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man. That's for sure. But you know what? That's life, old G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget the, you once knew the King K. Well, that's kind of sad that he's retiring. But that's okay. Um, the Punk Rocks. Since on this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date. Okay, so you got five turns or less. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing someone else pointed out that the advantage of a PC gamer. <coughs> um is that you don't have to worry about about like stuff like consoles updating your console every four years. Um, that's what I think is Austin, Austin Yorsky, I think it is, is the is the guy in the Bush Tum, is one of the guys in the Bush Tum podcast, the one that said it. Um, you don't like something like that. It's, it's so much easier to program for a computer than it is for a console. I think. Um, so yeah, um, my mind is kind of shut down there, <coughs> but I kind of have to agree with them, P PC games are always a little better than regular games, than console games, um, that, that's just, that's in all honesty just my opinion, um, Most often than not, most PC games tend to be well, more well programmed. Um, plus on top of that, if you really, the big, the big thing is, if you really want to, you can find controls pretty easily. So like, 
20 bucks for a, for a run the mill USB controller. Or you can just pay like, I think 14 bucks for this adapter I have for me to play on a PlayStation controller. Um, that's a hyper ball clef. Like clefs and ball clefs, this also is a rock monster. Max HP speed speed attack is 2 and defense is 2. The hyper, the hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack on, to 8 on the next turn. Has low HP and his body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that it's, that item attack is pretty effective. Be before goes hyper. So yeah, you want to beat this, these guys before they go hyper because eight attack power is not something you ever want to deal with in a game, in this, or in this game anyway. I'm sure Final Fantasy have, having someone with 8 attack power and you, and you have like 10,000 health, that's, yeah, that's jump change. That's like what, that's, po that's lower than poison damage. <laughs> I never can understand why they decided to use big numbers. I guess, well, I guess it makes sense that like, it makes you want to feel powerful, but at the same time, find the big screw-off monster at the end of the game, the big world-destroying monster at the end of the game it should be enough. I mean, come on. I'm fighting a giant behemoth. I'm fighting a giant behemoth the likes the world have never seen. Something that... Actually, I don't think I've ever seen anything that doesn't rival... Uh, anyway. Um, and let's, let's put the bomb -omb squad. Listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who you bring in. Fight to the, to the side by side. Now, that's drama. I get in there and stand by your Part. Okay, so right here, so we're not gonna be able to switch our partner. So what we want to do the problem is uh, actually I'm gonna keep Kimbellin because I don't think we scanned the bomb bombs. Um, <laughs> let's just say goodbye to our little egg. We got the bomb bombs. Bombs are another are another good enemy in in Mario games. I like I like. Um, I can think of back in the day when I used to when I used to browse roleplay forums. Uh, there was a Mario forum, Mario roleplay forum, and one of my best friends uh, on there was a uh, bomb mom. I think his name was Re I think yeah his name was Regal Cannon. Uh, that's his username anyway. He's like a white bomb mom. Um, and I, I myself, when I was when I was probably there, I was a, I was a uh, the Koopa with a purple, the shiny purple shell. Um, actually, I think he did sprite. I think he did my the sprite sheet for my character. Uh, go ahead and knock this guy out real quick. Or he tosses his bones at us. Um, one thing that's really fun to do is is uh, if you switch your jump when that happens, and you wait for him to toss the uh, item. Oh yeah, no switching parts. I was trying to remember what that was. Uh, and <coughs> and you switch your jump. You wait for them to toss the item, and then you then you uh, attack them. Then you assault them afterwards. It's kind of fun to see the uh, item just fly past you as you jump and hit them. Attack for blowing itself up. Yeah, really smart. Eight max HP is four attack. It's two defense is one. Bomb will get totally managed damage if they have like super short seasons. When it gets mad, it'll try to explode in the next turn. That attack really hurts. But if it's mad, it'll blow you up in the slightest contact, so don't attack it directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer or hit it with something hard like a shell. Okay, so. Jumped out of the way. Uh, quick hammer should do without saying any of these guys off. Oh, and it did. I don't think the counter move is going to work. And she did. Huh? That's a... I've never heard that! I've never heard that kind of ending. That's completely new to me. Does that mean we failed? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I 
Oh, maybe it means we failed so badly because the bomb bomb blew up. I, I've never had that happen. Or, or just said, or just did that little no, that ending noise like that. That's that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's quite lonely without King Bomb, without King K around. Bomb. No lonely. I'm too weak. I'm not here. Sound normal to Cleft Door. You're in bomb denial, Cleft Door. I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb, bomb, and my virus is popping up. Go away. Hey, new guy. Alright, this way, sir. Swoop, this is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just started your career. You don't like the, din the dingy room much, did you work your way to the ring? She's saying the same exact stuff she said to us. Um. I'm gonna try it once with a. It was over match. You just terminal. Well, howdy, sir. Swoop, ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, you want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. <laughs> I'm glad I don't ever have to do stuff like that. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Julie, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. So, yeah, obviously with us, is our powers... Our powers factor into what we can do, so that's what determines how our matches go. Um, so yeah, pretty much all this is the same exact stuff that we just, uh, she just told us when we first started, so yeah. Hi guys, yeah, my name is Swoop. Sir Swoop. I mean, nice to see you. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like this part. It's, it's a bit annoying, yes, but at the same time, it gives, it gives the world some more life to it. <laughs> Gotta show that you know we aren't just the only people that signed up. That gives us some more breath, some more breath, I guess. Okay, so after that long-winded farce, uh, farce. Uh, let's go and reserve our next match. Oh, dog, my cats! If it ain't the great Gonzales, yuck, yuck, yuck! You're gonna love this next opponent. Ranks 10 in the good spit, the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're darn tuned. You're finally going to make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go letting us down now. Listen, son. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift? Give him a good show. I'll get in there and blow the roof off, son. Okay, so... I uh, will go ahead and... Rest in here real quick. <coughs> Lights ready and let's go. <laughs> and now today's main event, the major league wastes eleven drinks great Gonzalez. But only if you can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. They're spiked terriers. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The great Gonzalez. Gonzalez! Keep throwing tails! Don't you dare lose, dude! Hold that mustache! Yeah, you see, we'll start seeing that now. Ooh-wee! The great Gonzales! How are you feeling? Burr. Whoa, Nelly! You heard this fellow, folks! He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Good gravy! Air them out! Whoa, are those... Are spikes legal? It depends on what matches you're talking about. <laughs> now, wrestling in Vietnam? Yeah, they're perfectly legal. Yuck, yuck, your challengers are real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. I don't know, it's honest he said. More like paper dog face, bros. I mean, they're stink. Then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Yeah, no, no comment on that one. Um, actually, I know some people that are like that. 
actually do know some people that are like that. It's, uh, it's so fun to beat them at that at a game too. <laughs> um, yeah. Then he said, "Audi, Audi belly buttons running their family stink wads," and so on. Yep. As an Audi, that jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then you're gonna drink. Uh, Oh, and one more thing. Only smelling stink wads call the people stink wads. Understand? Stink wad! Ow. Sit me down there, bro. You, stink wad. You're gonna regret opening your yacht, pal. See these pods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. Mm. Must avoid herbs for a predictable joke. Mm. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Take that over in a very short time you have left with this functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay, so, use a special move at least once. We're gonna do it. Make it major league if we win. Get tight, Mario! <laughs> Give up now! Well, Stinkwad, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. <laughs> I get it. Hard. Because they're hard and spiky. <laughs> okay, so, we got Iron Cleft. Unique enemy, pretty much a boss. That's an Iron Cleft. This, that guy is scary, period. Max is P6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack and work against Iron Clefts. There's nothing in the world is hard than Iron Clef, so his defense is impenetrable. But that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with a not a bad idea at this point. Um... You know what? I don't believe I'm gonna beat a bowl. Let's try it. Oh, crap, that did nothing. The force of power was so strong it caused the game to lag. Okay. Okay, so my strongest attack did nothing to them. I'm gonna say, run away! Run away! Run away!
Josh Yoster. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think people use various different names for him. Uh, yeah, I just typically choose Yost, Yoster because it's, it sounds young. I don't think I put the I don't think I put the H in. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Yoster. Yoshi's ability, A primer. Press X to get on and off Yoshi. Uh, this increases your speed and also uh, allows you to hover whenever you press A. He'll do like a little flutter jump. So it's pretty useful for getting over gaps. Uh, he'll float briefly in the air. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground power move, or you can use gulps and hail enemies while whole and spit them out for massive damage. Hmm. Spit them out for massive damage. So, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, this is, again, this is one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite characters. Um, let me see here. Can you, oh wow, that's actually, I didn't know that was a, that was a solid, that the springs are solid. Right there you can see you get a pretty good distance for a jump. Um, but you can't actually do any high jumps, so we have to get off and do a to jump up. Um, yeah, like I said, Yo, Yo, the Yoshi Kid, Yoshter, is my favorite character in the game. Um, for much... For two reasons, actually. For the same reason that Like a Lester in the first game is my favorite, because being that he's a transport character, moves faster. Um, and for the fact that he's a Yoshi, and Yoshi's are my favorite character in Mario games. Hence why Yoshi's Island is my favorite game, favorite game of all time. <laughs> well, not my favorite game of all time. That'd probably be like... Actually, that'd probably be this game. <laughs> the Paper Mario games, really. Um... Except for Super Paper Mario. Not that it's a bad game. I like Super Paper Mario. Just I like the other ones better. Um, so yeah, now I have to fight these guys again. Because we lost our match. Pretty badly. <laughs> we are off a quick... Uh, we are all this, um... I'm actually going to miss what Yoster said. <laughs> Alright, here, so let's go ahead and show off Yoster's abilities. The ground pound. Really tap R. Um, what am I doing this guy? Alright, the other game's going to start slowing down. I can't remember the timing for his moves there. Um, I can't remember the timing for a stylish move. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just finish this match off with Earthquake. Because um, yeah, this is the next ability I want to show off in the next battle against uh, the Armored Harriers. My ability to do my ability to do this so well might just be the fact that I'm um and it didn't kill the that. Okay, so it only does six damage. I thought today. Did you say did you just cut out? Okay. One of the best things to do, probably do with this attack, is just, uh... It's probably just use your thumbs and rapidly tap R. 
Um, because it, it gives you enough time to switch over to uh, the A button if you're going to do like style and stuff. So I don't know what the timing for the style is. I think, is it before the attack? I don't know. Time for a rematch of the Armored Harriers. We won't see any of the uh, banter that we saw earlier. Just kind of see a normal thing. Think you can take me and the me and Gonzalez? Ha! These ultra hard bots just can't lose. Get yourself ready to battle! Okay, so. We're gonna need to lose at least one special move. Gonna be a bit of a pain considering that we don't have anything to use. So just appeal. Uh, this should give us enough for a special move, or not? Even close. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Go. Right there, you see, he spits it out and he actually does damage to these guys. Right the, that really hurt! Our bodies and pointy nastiness have been are being used against us! No there! Oh dang bro! He has discovered our weak points! Okay. So we'll go ahead and appeal again. We'll have to appeal another time, I think. With the with the other uh, we'll, we'll be with the Oster here, and we'll, we'll be, we should be able to survive one more, so... <coughs> yeah, and just let you know, they move about that fast in the actual game, too. Um, so go ahead and use Sweet Treat. Woo-wee! Go now, folks! Give it up! We got a new major 
Middle of the for him, the great Gonzalez! <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I am, I am your God and Messiah. <laughs> okay, probably shouldn't, <laughs> probably shouldn't go that far.